Hello, my name is Reese, and welcome back to FM1 and the Kids, helping you get the best football manager experience. Football Manager 2022 is out. The beta came out tonight at the time of recording, so I've gone in straight away, of course I have, to find the 10 best wonder kids in the game. So do hit a like on the video if you enjoy it at any point. Hit subscribe if you are new. Tons and tons of wonder kids content coming out across the FM22 cycle from me. And let's dive into player number one. Erling Haaland up first then, and look at those stats. For a 20 year old, acceleration, balance, natural fitness, pace and strength, all over 17, this is absolute insanity. Anticipation 16, composure 17, determination, flair off the ball, this guy has absolutely everything. Listen, he's gonna cost you upwards of 100 million pound. There is no release clause for Erling Haaland in the game this year but listen my scout tells me that he's a driven personality and that he is driven in pursuit of his goals i wonder if that means actual goals or metaphorical goals he's got explosive pace but crucially he is a consistent performer we know all about erling Haaland's goal record 28 appearances with 27 goals last year in borussia dortmund with 15 appearances and 13 goals the year before that. He's reasonable with both feet and he can play striker as well as the attacking midfield positions, but you wouldn't put Erling Haaland in those positions, would you? Let's be honest. Next up is Alfonso Davis. You can pick this guy up, my scout is telling me, from between 40 and 70 million pounds. He's one of the best young left backs in the world and he is so, so fast. Look at that acceleration, natural fitness and pace from Alfonso Davis here. Determination of 17 as well as dribbling of 16 make this guy one not to overlook. He started off his career over in the USA back in 2015, but what's really stood out to me in his history is that he hasn't had a single assist in his career. Surely that's some kind of bug, right? He scored two goals in his first season, then eight goals in his fourth season, followed by one goal, zero goals, three goals, three goals, and one goal, but no assists from a fullback. It's a bit weird. Next up, Jude Bellingham, someone who I was really, really excited to see has amazing stats in Football Manager 2022. Aggression, bravery, determination, work rate. Look how well-rounded those numbers are for Jude Bellingham. But the key for this guy is his age, right? 18 years old. Absolute insanity. You can see from his positions here that he can play anywhere in midfield as well as defensive midfield. Again, reasonable with his left foot and very strong with his right foot. Jude Bellingham, as we know, started off his career in Birmingham. He played 41 games for them in the championship, scoring four goals before moving to Borussia Dortmund, where he played 29 games, scoring one goal. My scout tells me he's a professional individual and that his bravery means he'll go into situations that others would not go into. Come on, Jude. Now, if you're looking to sign Jude Bellingham, you're talking about upwards of 100 million quid. But how about an attacking wonder kid that'll cost you between 40 and 60 million? Well, I present to you Anzu Fati. Anzu Fati's been around in the game for quite a few years now, even though he's only 18. He's a fast winger. You can see acceleration 16 here and agility 17 with great off the ball flair and determination as well as dribbling and technique. He's playing for Barcelona here and we know all about their financial difficulties, which is why you may be able to get him at such a price. He can play left wing, right wing and striker as well. I've signed him previously, I think in FM 20 and he was absolutely insane for me world world class by the time i had developed him and you can see from his history that he's playing for the first team in barcelona 24 games for the first team in 2019 20 scoring seven goals but that dropped down to only seven games and four goals in 2020 so why not rescue anzu fati from his nightmare in barcelona and develop this guy into a world class player but what about brazilians i hear you cry are there any Brazilians I can get for under a hundred million pounds that are attacking wonder kids in Football Manager 2022? I present to you Vinicius Jr. Very similar mold to Anzu Fati. Acceleration, agility and pace are this guy's forte. Determination, flair and dribbling make him a driven winger. A little bit older than Anzu Fati at 20 years old. My scout tells me he possesses great pace and his acceleration underpins his overall speed and that he is also driven in pursuit of his 
goals. He'll likely get a work permit because of the international caps that he's had, I'm guessing. And he is currently an international, it tells me there below, which is, okay, it makes sense. It's all adding together now. Fairly strong with his left foot, very strong with his right foot. And again, he can play those three positions that you want out of your attacking players. Remember Pedri from the World Cup? You can pick him up for between 70 and 90 million, according to my scouts here at Chelsea. And he is world class already, almost at the age of 18. Anticipation, decisions, flair, natural fitness, and stamina. Insane stats to be bossing at that kind of age. Passing, technique, fierce touch, and dribbling. Positionally, he can play anywhere in the center of the park, midfield center, midfield left, midfield right, attacking midfield right, attacking midfield left, attacking midfield center, where he's most comfortable, reasonable with his left foot, and very strong with his right foot. You can see here that he is playing for Barcelona's first team, 37 games at the top, top level with three goals last season. Okay, so you haven't got 100 million to spend. You haven't even got 60 million to spend. But what if you've got 50 million to spend? I present to you Jamal Musilia. Now, apologies if I pronounced that wrong. It's not my forte pronunciation. I'll get there in the end. But this guy is absolutely cracking, right? He's a German 18-year-old. Acceleration, agility, natural fitness, pace, determination, flair, work rate, technique, first touch and dribbling, all over 15 at the age of 18 years old. is absolutely incredible. You can pick him up for less than 50 million quid, my scouts are telling me here. Insane positionally across the attacking midfield three positions. Great with both feet. I love this guy already. Looking at his history, he actually started off at Chelsea here and then went to Bayern Munich. Just getting an odd game here and there in the second team. And then last year, he really broke through with 26 games and six goals. My scout tells me that his ability to do the unexpected is one of the main reasons behind his ability to go past his man. He is a natural in several positions, a spirited individual, a consistent performer, which is the holy grail, good balance and ability, and has English second nationality, which could be very important. Sticking with the under 50 million pound Wonder Kids theme, Rodrigo is next. Playing at Real Madrid, again, a cash-strapped kind of country, really, Spain at the moment in terms of the top clubs. You can get the Wonder Kids off their hands quite cheap by the look of it. Acceleration 15, agility 16, and pace 15. Off the ball, flair, as well as first touch and technique, all 15 or above for this guy. And he's 20, and he's a 20-year-old Brazilian. What could go wrong? Positionally, he's one of those who can play attacking midfield right or attacking midfield left or striker. He's reasonable with his left foot and very strong with his right foot. Again, my scout is telling me he's a fairly consistent performer, but also handles himself in a fairly professional manner, which seems like quite a good trait. A natural in a couple of positions, his agility allows him to get out of tight situations on the pitch. In terms of history, Rodrigo's been playing professional football since 2013. God knows how young he was then, but he's come straight from Brazil to Real Madrid and straight away was playing for their B team and soon got promoted into their first team. 19 appearances followed by 22 appearances the season after. Bakayoko Saka next. One of the most underrated players in world football for me. Acceleration 18, you can see here for this 19 year old English kid. Pace of 15, flair of 16, as well as dribbling of 15. Work rate, teamwork, all 15 or above. Honestly, I think Saka could play absolutely anywhere on the pitch, but football manager have him all the way down the left side, all the way down the right side really. And at center midfield, it's a bit of a strange little positional map there for me. Surely you'd have to stick him in at attacking midfield centre. Very strange not to see that there, but it is what it is. Weak on his right foot, apparently, but very strong with his left. My scout tells me that his acceleration underpins his overall speed, that he is a spirited individual and that he possesses great pace as well as being, you guessed it, a fairly consistent performer. Saka has been at Arsenal for his entire career. Of course he has. 26 appearances on his breakthrough season in 2019 under I think Unai Emery scoring one goal and then in 2020-21 32 appearances with five goals. Next up Mason Greenwood a natural with both feet acceleration natural fitness pace determination flair 
and finishing all at or above 15 as well as technique. Greenwood is the golden boy of the Manchester United Youth Academy. He's 19 years old now and he has developed into what I would describe as a first team player. 31 appearances in back-to-back seasons for the Man United first team says as much as well with 10 goals followed by seven the season after. Most natural as a striker, but also adept on the right wing. Mason Greenwood, as I said earlier, can use both feet. Look at that, very strong on both feet. The only player in this list to have that attribute. My scout tells me that Mason possesses great pace, has the ability to strike a ball sweetly that makes him a great finisher and get this. He's a fairly consistent performer. Thank you very much for watching. Do hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe if you're new. Loads of FM22 content coming out from me. If you'd like to download the shortlist that we've used for today's video, you can join the Patreon community. Lots of goodies over there and it helps support the channel. Thanks very much for watching. See you again.